men's 500 metres junior final over 500 metres. A uh, very interesting field, Denmark, Slovenia, Germany. Our medal in the mixed K2 final here at these championships, so I'm sure he's going to want to add another medal to his tally, but, you know, the K1 will be a little mm. bit different. Well, he doesn't have Sarah in the boat, will he? No, he doesn't. Carrying him along in the form that she's in. So we're underway in this K1 men's junior 500 metre final. Looks like it's the Hungarian who's decided enough of this nonsense. So I'm going to get out there and get the Hungarians back up on top of the podium. He's gone out really, really hard. I think it's the Slovic, it's the uh, German Borkowski who's going with him across there in lane three. But Hidvega from Hungary, he's really taking it out. It's a 500 meter race, so let's see how he goes, if he can hold this pace. But he's put a bit of distance already between himself and the rest of the field. Borkowski from Germany trying to hold on there across in lane three. But it's the Hungarian that is taking up all the running at the moment. Look at that. Halfway through the race, and he's a boat length in front of the rest of the field. Across here in lane eight, it's the Italian Spadaccini who's trying to chase him down as well. But at this stage, it's Hidvagi from Hungary. He's really look at, looking determined. Uh, it's the Italian making up the best ground, though. And across there in lane one, it looks like Bride from Denmark is also chasing him down now the strokes get a bit tougher for Hidvega from Hungary he's starting to find it gets a little bit weary towards the end of the race there's a few trying to chase him down including Borowski from Germany the Spaniard Caballero also flying home Hidvega holding on now from Hungary across at the top of the course we have Manfreda from Slovenia also charging home Hidvega from Hungary he's holding on this Hungarian crowd are really ripping into him and trying to get him across the finish line. I think he's going to get there. Good finish there for the Hungarian Hitvega. He holds on to take the gold medal. He really took that out there. He wanted that gold medal. He went out from the outset as hard as he possibly could and managed to hold on. I think he found a little bit in the last 100 metres to get him there because there were a few guys closing in on him. But he has led from pillar to post Honor Thomas Hidvega to get the Hungarians their 19th gold medal of the week. Really good finish for second, Jen. What did you see? Oh, my goodness. The Slovenian had such a strong second half. Um, I'm going to presume he's been coached by Jurni, um, but not entirely sure of that. I know Jurni is one of the coaches on the team, but he just came through with 200 metres to go. Like, like the first half was just so easy for him. And, you know, sometimes people say the race only starts with 200 metres to go. So, oh, look at that. So it is. I think you're right, Jen. I think the Slovenian got there. And maybe the German held on for third. Yeah, it looks... Or was it the Spaniard? Maybe Caballero from Spain who got there. But, yeah, big finish from uh, Manfreda from Slovenia to take the silver, we believe. Possibly the Spaniard actually maybe got there for the bronze. It was a bit hard to tell. Yeah, I told you so. He said, I told you so, Ross. <laughs> 19 gold medals now, man. Count them. Uh, yes, so the Spaniard Caballero, their confirmation. Look, look how tight that is for second and third. No doubt about the winner.